Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've got Killmonger and Drax in the arena. Round one is over and done with. And we're going to take a look at the leaderboards and see if we see any names we recognize, give any shout outs. I have both of these champions. Uh, fun fact, Killmonger was the first featured four star that I ever grinded for in the arena. I remember that very, very well. Okay, didn't have him. The um, my, my roster had gotten to the point where I felt like I could put up the score for Killmonger and I got him, okay? While back, while back. Now, before we uh, go in there, I wanna show you guys my arena wins, okay? Already done with arena. It's Sunday, and look at my arena wins. So sometimes you guys see uh, that I put up a little bit more, or I did the uh, Sunday arenas. That's why. Okay, so you can see I haven't done any of these. We've got the, you know, Catalyst Clash coming. I'll do that one, but all I do is like uh, five, up to win streak five. So I'll probably go in here and run my six stars because that's the fastest way to get points for arena wins. All right, I only went for the 11 to 30%. Let's take a look here. And I got him and got it. Okay, so Drax is in the uh, features. So we'll leave that alone for a little bit. And we'll go in here. Now, of course, while we are going through this, do y'all see the difference? See it? See it? See down there? Y'all see that? I just finished working on it. You guys were asking, well, seven stars are coming out. Are you going to change your border? Yes. Seven stars are coming out tomorrow. And I will be uh, making a video for my very first ever uh, seven star opening. Cole T, I see you. Congratulations. Um, I'll be able to open up three. Uh, two, we're going to be able to get for 10K. It's going to be in the store uh, and it'll be permanent. So everybody um, who plays Marvel Content Champions will be able to get the first two or at least two for 10K. And then we'll be able to open up a third one. So it's exciting. Uh, from what I understand, and I've been, you know, kind of reading uh, different chats and things. Uh, but from what I understand, the seven star rank one is going to be somewhere between a rank four and a rank five. Six star. That's my understanding. I could be wrong. Uh, Agent Lemon. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see if we find another lemon so we can make a lemonade. Um, but anyway, so that is uh, tomorrow. And it'll probably be um, probably Tuesday before you guys see it. Because I have a video that I'm going to make uh, for tomorrow morning. I usually do my uh, videos uh, in the mornings. And then for uh, Tuesday, I'll do the uh, crystal opening for the seven star. Uh, we'll see. I might swap that around and make a video for Tuesday, and then just make a late video for tomorrow, since everybody is going to be opening up seven stars, and people are going to be really wanting to see it. Uh, Grimlock, I see you, man. So I might do it that way. Now, the other thing that I'm planning to do, um, either later on today, or tomorrow morning, uh, but I will be diving into Act 8.2. Uh, I already know the path I'm going to take. I already know uh, the champion I'm going to use. Um, since I also need my champions in a Alliance Quest, I have to fit it in between there. This is the final day for uh, Alliance Quest, and then we get a little bit of a break. So it'd be perfect, but I need to do at least one of them, uh, 8.2.1, so that 
I can do exploration live with you guys. So that's the idea. That's the plan. So we'll see if I'm able to do that. All right. So O'Connor, O'Connor, um, you are the last one to get a six-star champion in this arena. All right. Enjoy your Killmonger. Um, I think mine is is awakened as well, finally. You know, I had waited a long time to get mine awakened because I wanted to put him on defense. Um, and he's still good, especially in BGs. He's very annoying. Uh, but anyway, let's see who is 101. Summoner, 101. Ace! Oh! I know you're not feeling Ace today. Little chilling. Ooh. So close, guys. So close. But I don't know if Moon Dragon is coming this Thursday. But if she is, then this arena is the last arena you're going to have to worry about this. Because they're going to expand to 400, get the six star. That's going to have a very interesting effect. You know, we, we were talking uh, on my live stream about the fact that the new seven stars are going to be 15K. And Kabam was saying that, you know, they're making a 15K, but they're doing other things that's going to kind of compensate. And uh, we're going to see. I want to wait and see. But one of the things that I can see already is changing that cutoff. 400 means a lot more people are going to be able to get six stars, which means you're going to have a lot more um, six star dupes, more um, seven star shards. So, you know, and that's just one. That's just one uh, area there. So we'll see. Um, I'm hopeful. I'm very hopeful uh, that, you know, wait, what? <laughs> oh, man. Um, I'm very hopeful that it won't be, it won't take a longer time to get, because that's the main thing, you know, when I'm getting, you know, I'm going to open three tomorrow and then how long is it going to take me to get another? We're going to see, you know, it, it's kind of hard to tell, um, but we're going to see how quickly we can get another uh seven star now right now i don't think there's any seven star shards on sale are there you know like the six star shards in the um battlegrounds i don't think there's seven star shards yet could be wrong but we'll see maybe we'll get some uh in some of the stores that'll be interesting as well okay hambone what hambone you are number three Anybody? Okay, no. I felt really bad one time because I just kind of skipped down and one of the guys that, that you know, he, he grinded really hard and made it to number one and I missed his name. I mean, I usually didn't look up there, so now I try to make sure I look up there. Angry Elephant, you're not angry today. Enjoy that Drax, time to shine. Congrats. You can you see him? Can you see him, Drax? He's invisible. Fat Skadoosh. What's up? Yeah, man. I <laughs> Drax is, is interesting. So here's another another fun fact. Uh Drax. Um, go Shadow. I see you. Drax was my first proper counter to Ultron. Think about that. Think about how long ago that was. I had so much trouble fighting Ultron back in the day. And you would not think that Drax would be good against Ultron because Ultron can't be bled or anything like that. But Drax was actually very good for Ultron. And anytime I saw an Ultron, I would bring out my Drax. And usually I would take him out. So 
Uh, things have changed, of course, long time ago. I uh, hope I didn't miss anybody here. Um, and he's still good for for Ultron, you know, even though Ultron has gotten an upgrade and, you know, all that rework. Uh, but Atan, congratulations. But he's still he's still pretty decent. Of course, why would you use Drax when you have Magneto, you know, or, or even um, uh, Medusa or, you know, there's just so many robot uh, nebula, so many anti robots now that there's no reason to use Drax. But back then, I had to use Drax. I see you, Eva Knievel. X-10 Army. Okay, okay. Red Death. Megatron. I saw that they reworked, um, and they're always doing that, the um, uh, Autobots, you know, the Transformers. And some of them, I think it's Transformers Prime, was really good. The animation was great. The fight scenes were were as good as any that you saw in the movies and everything. But then you also have some that just, what they did was they changed it from action to just drama. It was like a soap opera. When I looked at one of the trailers, I was like, what in the world? You know, Megatron is like, I have failed. I'm like, okay. And I mean, he just seems so down and he's just like, it's my fault. The all spark. It's a, and I'm just like, come on, man. <laughs> you know, I don't need all that. Uh, I got enough blaming myself for everything. I don't need to watch somebody else do it. Anyway, let's see who is Summoner 101. Killer. Mm, you didn't kill it today. But you still have a chance. You still have a chance. And I see names that I, I, you know, are familiar to me. But again, don't despair. Call T. Um, don't despair. Because this is probably the last arena before we'll have that big change. And then everybody that we see will have gotten the uh, six-star champion. We'll no longer see anyone that... Um, Art 301 CPP. You know, I'm I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay, he said art, but since I'm a programmer, I'm looking at CPP and I'm thinking C. So is that a art C class, something or other? Or is it stand for something else? Because that'd be interesting. An art class for programming. Because I've seen some people with some ugly code, and they don't even care. My code was pretty. I ain't going to even lie. And and everybody said that. You know, I made sure that my code had, you know, uniform indents, and, you know, everything was beautified. Okay? I did not play. I used white space to make it. It looked nice. Okay? When people went behind me into my code, that's what they would say. They were like, wow. And sometimes it inspired them to do a little better on their code, you know? And these are at places that didn't have any kind of a standard coding style practice or anything like that. Um, so I chose my own and, and just roll with it, you know? Uh, but anyway, that would be interesting if, if they had a class that was like a, a artistic you know, um, style class for programming. That would be kind of awesome. Because it, it helps. It matters. It does matter. Anybody that's had to go behind someone else, do maintenance programming, which largely that is what you're likely to be doing, especially right out of school. Um, I got to do uh, my own projects and everything, but not that often. Most of the time it was maintenance type programming um new projects were rare all right and i believe that is it all right guys that is gonna do it thank you all for watching feel free to hit the like button let me know what you thought oh and let me hold on hold on let me do this um there's a guy on discord i want to Give him a shout out. I want to make sure 
Um, Misty K. M Y S T I K A Y 13. He or she, I'm not sure, um, although the name would indicate she. Okay. Anyway, um, that is who I got the graphics from. They got me that little graphic right there for the upgrade. They got me this whole border, these stars. I got all of that from them. Then, of course, I did my own um, um, uh, uh, font for the Lord Shadow, grabbed a infinity symbol off of uh, Google. And of course, that uh, symbol there is the symbol for combined, like the, uh, I guess, the superior class or whatever. Basically, it's all the classes, okay? Um, if you look at like the maestro, that's what he's got, okay? Um, so anyway, take care. Make sure you let us know what ranking and give me a comment. What do you think about this? You're going to see another one. Um, it's going to look very similar to this uh, for the live stream tomorrow. But this is what it looks like for um, just regular videos and for like my crystal openings and things like that. And if you want to see what it looks like, um, my avatar, uh, when I want to do the avatar, that is what it'll look like. So sometimes if I don't want to show my face or whatever, like in the beginning of the war videos, and I just need to jump in and do it, that's what you'll see there. All right. So take care. And you all. Have a blessed day.